Oh, what do we get? Onyx bolts, and I'm on 300 hit points. Dead. Oh my god, my hit points. Oh my god, I was on like 1 HP. How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to episode number 7 of the Road to Max Cash Drop Tab. Yep, it's it's now the Max Cash Drop Tab because apparently when I say numbers people get angry. So yeah, to all those people, there you go, you got your change. And honestly it does probably sound better so we're gonna keep it like that for the rest of the series. Unless people are like, oh my god, I really miss you saying a bunch of numbers real quick, but I feel like no one's gonna say that. So yeah, anyway guys, we're starting this off with a raid and this is a really funny raid because I thought that we had two learners in the 10 man team and it turns out there were actually five learners because three of the people just did not speak up when I asked is anyone a learner see I was an absolute mess it was a horrible kill so many people died and got dropped and uh, you know what the end result was good my reaction was crazy when I saw the training points because that's how you can tell if they're a learner basically there were five training points rewarded right at the end and uh, and yeah it was also my first time like really successfully properly doing backup so yeah overall a really good raid welcome to the episode everyone and here was my reaction boys five training points five training points we just brought Five learners to BM and we got the fucking kill. Look at all of the dead people. Here's the first casket. What are we gonna get? We got, what is that? Arminal Chaps, but I do have a reroll. I'm absolutely taking the reroll on that. 124k, that is not good enough. Here we go, make it happen. For 217k profits were made, some Onyx Bolt Tips, 10k cash. Swamp Lizards, you know what? I can't complain, that's not too bad at all. We're gonna grab ourselves a Trist Key, and then we're gonna go and do another Elite Clue Scroll. Here we go. Good fight, Nex. Oh, come on. <laughs> My Hurricane just double zeroed. All right, there we go. GG, Nex, for... Oh, Zerai Bow! Oh! There we freaking go. Ryan and Sam man mode back at it again with the Zarite bow. Check this out. Honestly, guys, I am so happy with that Zarite bow drop. That's the first good drop I've had at Nex, and I've done a lot of kill count at Nex on this series. I know you guys don't see much Nex in the videos, and the reason you don't see much Nex is because just I don't get any drops, so I don't put it in. But yeah, 202 Nex kills on this series, like at least 180 of them are just in the drop tab. And yeah, that's the first really good drop. We keep getting Torva gloves, we keep getting the uh, the Pernix cowl, stuff like that. But yeah, 18 mil for his right, but that is absolutely amazing to throw it in the tab. All right, guys, I'm at death's office for two reasons. First reason is I'm making my Hellware guide and I got dropped on my face. That's the first reason. And the second reason is I actually wanted to buy another Another Hydrix, another incomplete Hydrix. So yeah, we're gonna see right there 457 Reaper points. So I can actually go into items and buy myself an incomplete Hydrix, which is really, really nice. Totally jumps up the drop tab by a ton as well. So yeah, I'm gonna buy that with Reaper points right here. And then you'll see the price check on this thing is insane. 22.5 million GP. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna throw that in the drop tab. There we go, so we've got two of them now, so that's like 45 mil just from doing some Reaper tasks once in a while. There we go, first drop of the trip, Serenic Essence. It's actually like 800k, not bad at all. And that is the first one in the drop tab, so that's always nice to see. Ah, oh, I just got wrecked. I was still bled, and then I didn't realize I was still being bled, and then the Rezo didn't heal me. Feels bad, man. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm making a Hellware guide and I'm learning the mechanics of Hellware. You know, it's really easy to just like go on Wikipedia, read the Wikipedia article, and then make a guide talking about it like it's easy. But I actually like to learn it myself. So I actually, I stay away from like Wiki and all that stuff. And I basically, I go and experiment. So for the last three or four hours, I've been at Hellware with different combat styles, different strategies. Hey right, guys, so I met this lower level player at Hellware and basically he didn't really know what he was doing. So I thought I'd help him out a little bit. And yeah, third kill of the trip, we get ourselves a dormant Animacore body. That's such a troll. All right, guys, so it's been long enough, and I still haven't done my P5 at Telos, which is over 100% in rage. So I'm going to go for it right now, and hopefully it's going to go well. So here we go. We're going to do a kill at 95%, kind of as a warm-up kill, and then uh, we'll basically chain it up, and then the next kill we do will be above 100%. So yeah, here we go. All right, guys, there's the 95% kill done. Honestly, the fourth phase went really, really badly, but I still finished with a good amount of food. I still had some food in my yak as well. So you know what? I think I'm ready to attempt the P5. Let's check the loot. Here we go, see what it's gonna be. We got ourselves, wow, 400k in dragon arrowheads. We are gonna continue the challenge as you see here. Um, 
8% up to 103, so perfect opportunity to get that P5 done. I really don't know what to expect though, like I've never really done it, I've never practiced it, I've never tried it, I haven't even looked at a guide. So yeah, we're basically going in dry here and hopefully it goes well. Alright guys, phase 1's done and I kept messing up my prayer switches, which is really not good because I'm going to need a lot of food for P5. So yeah, hopefully P2 goes well and then P3 also goes well, but yeah, I, uh, I did a really, really bad job of that. Alright guys, P3 is done. It didn't go great, but it didn't go terribly, so I'm kind of optimistic at this point. I have an entire yak full of rocktail soups and I still have my sign of life. So yeah, what you're watching right now is my first real attempt at a P5, that's an over 100% enrage kill, and already you'll notice if you know how to tell us me messing up, I did not know this at the time because I didn't really check any guides, but basically you need to kill 4 minions by the font and I only killed 3, so the red relic only got 75% charged. What that meant is that when Telos was going to release a bomb, I was going to get really really messed up, obviously I didn't know that at the time or I would have basically saved 4 minions and killed them near the font. But uh, yeah, what I do here is I just basically lay down some DPS, I did a shatter there because my shatter splashed on phase 3, I'm dodging the falling rocks, doing everything right, and also because I was in the adrenaline beam, I also threw down an onslaught, which was really good. Uh, luckily for me, I was in the adrenaline beam though, because I could actually switch to my shield and I used immortality. What immortality does is it means that if you die, it brings you back to life at 40% hit points. So that was really lucky because that let me basically dodge the anima bomb without actually having charged up the font, and then, you know, by this point I actually knew what to do because I'd tried it out the first time and it was a fail. Uh, so yeah, this time I actually charged up the font properly, and then yeah, you'll see me continue to do DPS, and this is when the attempt got like a lot better. I realized I had plenty of food, I had food in my familiar as well, and yeah, it just went a whole lot better at this point. Got into the uh, black beam base key just to get the bleed cleared, jumped back into the adren beam, and I just kept doing some DPS. I mean, it would have been better to get in the red beam for the end, but uh, you know what, it went just fine from here. It was really smooth sailing, I was really happy with how it went, especially like for a first attempt. Obviously, in general, there are a lot of things I could have done differently and I could have done better. But, you know, for a first attempt, I really cannot complain about it at all. Everything went just fine. I charged up the relic just in time with little surge. And yeah, that was just about it. Let's cut to the live comm. I think we've actually done this. There we go. P5 was successfully done. Honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. You know, with a little more practice, we would have been way better off. But honestly, like we finished with a good amount of food left and I did make a lot of mistakes earlier on in the kill as well. So you know what, I'm really happy with that. I'm really glad that I managed to get the P5 done and you know, I didn't waste a ton of supplies like practicing it or learning it. Let's check the loot, here we go. Oh, that was, actually that's not bad, 62 rune bars. I'm good with that, we're gonna claim the loot. All right guys, that is a Raxor kill number three of the Reaper assignment, here we go, check the loot. Four Fang, oh my God, I got the Fang. <laughs> wow! That actually just happened. That actually just happened. We actually just got the freaking fang. That's like 110 mil. Oh my god. That is absolutely hilarious. Look at that luck though coming through. Greatest reaper assignment. That's why you do your reaper assignment. That is the best single value drop we've had on this series so far. So the really cool thing about the drop tab now is we've got a spider leg a fang, an eye, and a web, which is really, really cool to see. Hey, there we go, first drop of the Dagonoff King's trip, just some Earth Talismans. It's like 200k though, it's not too bad. Let's, uh, let's stick around till we get something. Oh, what is that? No! No way, are you serious? I've got like 300 kill count here, what the fuck, man? That's a pet, isn't it? That's a pet, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm just doing my Reaper here. Taking it easy, doing my Reaper. And another pet. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so I guess I finished the Reaper. How many kills do I have left? Like a couple left. Seven more to do. I guess I finished my Reaper and then leave as the luckiest person in this game. Honestly, I'm, I'm really sorry to the people who've killed this boss like 6,000 times. Because I've, I've got like, here, I'll check it right now. It's, it's stupid low. I, all I know is it's stupid low and I don't deserve it at all. Look at that. 436 kill count. That's just, that's not enough to start getting pets. Oh my goodness, someone in my clan has 4,300 kill count and only has one pet. Oh, I feel so bad for him. All right, there we go, guys. That is the end of the Reaper assignment. You know what? I'm not even going to stick around. There's no point. This Reaper assignment was better than anything I could have imagined. All that's left to do is inspect the Dagonoth egg, summon up my seventh boss pet, which is pretty ridiculous. The pet that I totally don't deserve. Uh, there you go, you've unlocked the pet prime hatchling. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dismiss my yak, rest in peace sharks, and yeah, we're gonna summon up uh, the prime pet. There we go, prime hatchling unlocked. That is absolutely ridiculous. I still can't believe I actually got a pet at that KC. That's a good point to go to the price check. See you guys in a little bit.
All right, this marks the end of episode number seven. Here is the drop tab as always scrolling by so you guys can take a look. The total value is 800 million GP. So we are making a ton of progress right now. Everything is going great. Just wanna give you guys a quick thank you so much for watching. If you wanna leave a like, feel free to do so if you enjoyed. Other than that, constructive criticism is always appreciated. Have a great one and as always, peace out.